guys, welcome back to Release the Crafting. Priscilla here with a uh, different kind of share for you guys today. Um, as you can see, we're in the middle of all this chaos. I was a, um, working on some ephemera for a journal swap that I have coming up. And I figured I would just kind of take a quick minute to switch the camera on so that you guys could join me for a little craft with me session. And I was originally going to keep it um, real time so you guys could see like the whole process and how long everything took and stuff like that. But then it ended up being like an hour and a half of meandering rambles. So I figured you guys might appreciate it if I like sped it up a little bit and condensed it down some. Um, I'm still going to ramble. That's still going to happen. Don't worry. But um, it's going to be a little more succinct than it was before. So right here I'm just showing you guys the stuff that I had to work with. Um, the color palette I was working on. And I have um, a couple of inks and washi tape and stuff already pulled out. Because like I said I was in the middle of already making stuff for this book. So I have a little library pocket here that I've made. Um, and it's using like an old uh, book page from a Sleeping Beauty book that was actually... Um, illustrated by Arthur Rackham and I just thought it went really well with the theme. The um, book that I'm working on is kind of a uh, revisit of my Poe book but um, more of like a ladies Poe book. I don't want to give away the theme just yet because um, once I tell you like what I've titled it you'll know exactly what it is. So um, it's going to be a little deliberately vague right now but um, I just thought it would be fun to kind of hop on share some of the stuff that I'm working on so you guys can see that. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful 2019. Um, I started mine off with kind of a bang. Um, still been recovering from some of the illness that I've been dealing with, but I'm um, getting better like as time goes on. So I'm feeling you know more positive and a little bit back to like my old self. And for the new year, I've set some goals to uh, to be more productive and to work on some new things. And um, so this is one of the things I wanted to bring to my channel more craft with me. A lot of people have asked me about it. Um, I know some of you guys follow me on Instagram and you catch my live videos there and I'll keep doing uh, live videos for sure because I really enjoy them. I enjoy the engagement and like chatting with everybody about what I'm doing. And uh, so I'm going to keep doing those but I thought I would do a couple for YouTube because some people mentioned that they don't have Instagram where they miss the live videos because of time zones so they don't really get to see a lot of this kind of stuff so I thought I would do a couple of these. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys prefer videos like these where it's just sped up videos of me working or if you'd rather see them real time like a live video um, on YouTube so that I know kind of what content to make. I might do both um, in the future but I would like to know what people prefer um, just so I have a better idea of what you guys are interested in. Um, so all I've done so far is use some watering can um, distress uh, embossing powder for Ranger to emboss that image on there and I picked out some of those Halloween um, ephemera pieces just to add a little something. Then I decided it needed a little bit more than just some flat pieces of paper so I added some of that eyelash trim to the background. Um, the colors for this book are pretty neutral with like little hints of like purples and like pinks and burgundy type color things but a lot of it's like gray and black and so I've been using a lot of pumice stone. Um, distress Oxide to ink up everything so that it kind of has that like graveyard feel which is very apropos for Poe. So, um, apropos. Okay. <laughs> Puns aside, it's appropriate. And I picked out a bunch of images from Pinterest. Um, a lot of them were actually from Crimson Peak. Haven't seen that movie. I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, it's a fun, scary movie. Um, but the, the actress, Mia, whose last name I cannot pronounce and will not attempt to, uh, starts with a W. Um, actually looks like the character I chose to uh, embody in my journal. So I have a lot of her images that I pulled for her book. So I'm just using one of the images from the movie um, to kind of help decorate this bag. And a lot of it was just really random stuff. I just grabbed a bunch of random things. I'm trying to keep my color palettes pretty neutral. I used a lot of like browns and grays. Um, for the book with just little bits of like this pink color. I have um, Victorian Velvet out. I think I have, I get like some milk lavender out. Um, right here I'm showing you guys the Sukaneko uh, gold ink that Shayna sent me. She sent me like a whole four set of those little dew drops in metallic colors for um, my Secret Santa gift. So um, they're awesome and I love them and I really have been enjoying using them to like ink up around images. It's like a really quick way to add a little pop of gold to stuff. 
and um, there's some gold in the paper pack I chose, so uh, it was really nice to have something like that to bring out uh, little hints of gold everywhere. So thank you for that, Shayna. And um, here you can pretty much just see all I'm doing is fussing around with placement. This is really, I think, what takes me the longest when I'm making a journal, is trying to figure out how I want everything to be laid out. Um, so I guess it's kind of a good thing that I sped this up because I was just really on a ramble while I was making this stuff. And I decided that um, the background of this little envelope was a little too plain, so I added that crackle, peeled paint sort of texture to the background, and I'm a lot more happier with that. Uh, but anyways, like I was saying, I um, have set some goals for 2019 to be more productive. I went back and looked at what I did for 2018 and realized that um, some of the stuff I had intended to do, I kind of let go by the wayside because I kind of got into my own head about like how things should be and um, what my own personal expectations were, and they were a lot higher than what I was capable of at the time. So I kind of like got really bogged down in my own headspace and didn't um, accomplish as much stuff as I wanted to do. But I think over the last couple months, I just kind of like let that go. You know, I let it go by the wayside and was just kind of like, I don't need to get in my own way to um, when I'm trying to achieve things. So I kind of took a moment to step back and step aside and be like, all right, get out of your own way, make some stuff happen, make things. And you know, it doesn't have to be a certain way. Nobody's expecting you to do things the same way every single time. And once I kind of had that revelation, things just started like falling into place for me. So I feel a lot more positive moving into 2019. So I am going to um, actually get back into some of the things I started last year. Um, such as the Women in History series I started. I not only did one book of that last year, and I was kind of ashamed of myself for only doing one book, but um, like I said, I had gotten really up into my own head about how things should look and how they should be, and realized that I wasn't making anything when I do stuff like that. So I am bringing that back. I have kind of reworked it in my head a little bit, um, and I'll talk more about that when I make one of the books, um, so you guys can kind of see where that whole series is going. So that is coming back. And then um, one of the series I started last year, which I have now decided to call Chronicles of the Witch. Those are going to be those big witchy Book of Shadow grimoire type books. I'm going to keep doing that this year. So um, definitely be on the lookout for that. And then um, I've got a couple more series I don't really want to introduce just yet. Um, that I have kind of in the works in my brain right now. And so I'm going to try to put those out too. I have had a request to do a mixed media series. So I will be doing that uh, for sure, for sure. That will be coming up in the next couple of weeks. So um, if you're interested in learning more about mixed media, definitely do that. I did have some incidents with um, my art journal with me series. And um, I know that some of you guys were hoping that I would finish the year. And I'm not gonna go into like the whole story. But basically, um, I found that another creator had been lifting my content for themselves. And so it kind of was discouraging to put anything out knowing that it was going to be taken and um, copied without credit onto somebody else's channel. And so once I had seen that, I kind of let it go because I didn't want to keep supplying that person who's a very creative person and has their own ideas um, with my ideas. And so um, I let that go. I'm probably gonna finish the art journal and I might um, just post pictures of the pages that I do on Instagram. But um, for right now, that series is kind of off to the side and on hold. I am gonna bring back Tag Tactics. I do have a lot more ideas now. I think I kind of approached that uh, series from a sort of a sideways angle. So I was having a really hard time trying to figure out what to make for it. But now that I, like I said, I've been able to step back and kind of see the bigger picture, I know exactly where to go with that series. So I will be bringing that back and we will be binding all those tags into a little booklet. Um, sorry for the cuts here. I realized at one point that uh, my camera was cutting out and it was cutting out earlier than I thought it was going to. So there's a couple of weird jumpy cuts. Also, a couple of times I just hit stop recording instead of pause. So, um, sorry, there's some pieces missing, but I will try to, um, post some final pictures of everything that was made on my Instagram so you guys can see, um, the final result of everything we made here. Um, you know, I've just been rambling. I told you I was going to, um, 
Here I'm just doing um, some altered like envelopes that I'm gonna leave uh, open so that uh, Lori, who is uh, Ivy Shutters, she's the one I'm swapping with, so she can just like flip them open, journal on the inside, or seal them up and store stuff inside, whether she wants to do. Um, this journal has been kind of an interesting challenge because Lori uses her journals in a way that kind of um, is different than I do. So um, she adds a lot of stuff to her books, so they get really bulky. So I wasn't able to, um, or she asked me not to add a bunch of bulky sort of things on the pages so that she could add more stuff in there without like exploding the book out of its spine. So everything I made had to be really flat. So you guys will notice there's not a lot of uh, like buttons and metal bits and things going on to um, this stuff like I usually do because um, I had to keep it pretty flat for her so she could add whatever she wants to. And so it was an interesting challenge for me and I thought it was um, fun. It kind of stumped me for a little bit, if I'm gonna be honest. I really didn't know what to do once I was like, oh, well, I take out all my chunky things, like what's left? But then I was like, girl, you have paper, you got washi tape, like what are you talking about, what's left? So um, after talking to April, um, so thank you, April, I kind of got like a clear picture of exactly what I was gonna do. So um, all I've done is like add some paper bits, I made a pocket on that other envelope and I'm gonna emboss these up a bit. Um, this is a big old clunky Martha Stewart punch which I'm just now realizing as I'm watching this, I punched that butterfly like on the text upside down, which would drive me crazy. But um, it's already done and on the envelope, so it's not coming back off. Um, so yeah, so I just kind of grunged it up here. I haven't really done anything like super complex. I'm just keeping it pretty simple. I want like some of the images to tell the story themselves, but I also want the book to be really functional for her, so I didn't go too over the top with anything. Um, I printed out some quotes from the poem that I was using um, as my inspiration for the book. And those will probably end up on the pages because I printed them out a lot bigger than like this ephemera is going to be. But um, I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't think I have a couple of like collaboration type projects coming up in the future. Um, some returns from last year and some new ideas that I started for this year. And I think this is just going to be like a really fun year. Um, I think we're gonna like knock it out of the park for 2019. I, I have a lot of hope and a lot of positivity going into the year. And um, you know, I have a really great circle of friends who are really encouraging and supportive. And I think that really helps. Um, you know, they're, they're there when I feel like I can't make anything. And then they're there when I feel like I'm the crafting queen. And it's just, it's really nice to have that support system. And um, other people who have also set really lofty goals. Um, right now April is doing a uh, like an organize with me series on her channel and I'll link that down below because I think it's such a smart idea. Um, she's not buying anything extra to make this stuff. She's using the stuff she already has on hand. So I'm really interested to see um, where that series of hers goes. I know that um, Shayna was my secret Santa partner and she's SB Artistry here so I'll also link her channel down below. She just made this really kick-ass uh, mixed media like memory book for me for my secret santa present and it was super cool and um you know so like she's got cool stuff coming up um oh here i wanted to show you guys the paintbrush i stuck into the pocket because i embossed like through the little holes in that punch out so that was like a way to keep the uh, embossing powder from sticking to the paper after you heat it so that was just a little little tip that i was going to tell you guys um so the other friends who are doing cool things. So, uh, Serene Bookworks, that's Kim. She's coming out with this great, like, monthly TN series. You guys need to go check it out. It's, like, all full of positivity and happy, like, good vibes, and I really love it. Um, so, like, I mean, there's lots of cool things happening on YouTube right now. I think everyone's kind of feeling really motivated for 2019, so I'm really excited to see, like, how that turns out. Um, maybe in the comments down below, you guys tell me some goals that you've set for yourself. They don't have to be craft related, they could be whatever. Um, I'm just kind of curious to see if you guys are also feeling, you know, the, the wave of like positive, um, like progress, I guess, and motivation to get stuff done. Or, you know, like, how are you feeling about 2019? If you didn't set any goals or resolutions, do you have any feelings going into the new year or any plans? Um, definitely link that down below. Um, let me know if you guys are starting video series or 
have a new thing coming up on your channel, let me know in the comments below. I want to see that stuff. I want to see what you guys are up to and what you're baking. Um, I think it's just going to be a really fun year. And I want to do more videos to share more stuff that I do with you guys. And I got a new, um, a new light. So now I'm able to film, um, any time of day before I used to have to like wait until like just the perfect time in the morning which meant that I wasn't putting out a lot of videos plus like um, I don't live alone so I couldn't like turn on all the lights you know in the middle of the night or in the early morning so it was either film in the dark or just you know wait until that one perfect moment and then hope that nobody makes any noise including my cats and so um, that was getting a little silly and it was getting hard to put out videos when I wanted to because I just didn't have the means to and uh but now i have a new light so i can do it whenever i want and i even was able to lift up my camera a little bit higher so you guys could kind of catch more of this and hopefully when i make those bigger books i won't have to like struggle to stay in the frame um so i mean you know it's been fun um this is like a vellum envelope that i got in i think i got it from aliexpress actually from like a seller that i got washi tape from they included it in there um I've just been sitting in my stash for a while and I thought it was perfect because it's got that lace texture in the background. And, um, so I just wanted to, like, alter it up a little bit and stick that in there, too. Um, so what I think I'll do, because I don't know what else to tell you without continuing to ramble, is just pop up some music and let you guys watch the rest of the video. So, um, thank you guys so much, uh, for joining me in the new year. Um, for watching these videos, definitely let me know if there's anything you want to see me do or make, uh, what your preferences are. I'm not going to say, like, that I'm going to make everybody's videos exactly how they want, whenever they want, but I'm going to try to be, um, more productive and try to see what people like and don't like so I have a better idea of what, um, content you guys want to see on this channel. Um, and, you know, thanks for joining me. In the meantime, um, last year was really fun and I know this year's going to be really great. Um, and if you guys get the chance, follow me on Instagram. I will put my handle down below. You'll get to see the finished products for all these things that we made today. And, um, keep an eye out because I know pr pretty certain I'll have another video out pretty soon. And then, um, I'll be finishing this journal. If not today, then in the next couple of days. Um, so that one will also be coming up pretty soon. So keep an eye out and, uh, stay tuned. Happy crafting, guys. Bye.